Hi. Well, in my monthly calendar, I have sayings. You know, once a month sayings. They're on my tabs. And I've flipped ahead because I like reading them. Well, in that particular month, there it says, when life gives you lemons, ask, is that all you got? And it's interesting that this is the installment for this week's post because life has actually given me lemons. Well, let me explain. I love my chick cave. I love going down there and it's my getaway. I get to craft down there when I have an opportunity. Uh, I get to write whenever I get a chance. But unfortunately, I can't go down there. Uh, why? Well, this is the first lemon. I have allergies. Well, what does that have to do with a chick cave? <laughs> well, it has a lot to do with it if I'm dealing with uh, a little bit of growing mold because this has been a summer of a lot of humidity and because I've been so busy, our whole family has, uh, I've not had an opportunity to get down there as often as I'd like. And so our basement has been kind of closed up and it's been dark and there has been a lot of light down there. And what happens when there is no light, there is no activity, and uh, things grow? Well, I have the kind of allergies that I don't have the sniffy, sneezing, watery eyes kind of allergies. I stop breathing. <gasps> Lemon number two. I have to breathe just like everyone else. And that's how the enemy works, doesn't he? He has this tendency of taking us out of our environment that brings God great joy. And when it's stagnant, when there's no activity going on, that's when he strikes a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. And soon, uh, he tries to give you sour lemons. Well, I'm asking, is that all you got? Because God can take those lemons. He can take those opportunities and say, you know what? What are we going to do with them? Well, believe it or not, I love lemons because I love making lemonade. And this is why I'm doing this. Because this backdrop you see, it's going to start changing. I'm going to start doing future installments in my new little chick corner. I won't be able to do things that I like to do down in my chick cave until everything is taken care of. But the Lord kind of moved my heart and said, well, you may not have a chick cave, but you now have a corner, a corner on my first floor in my hallway that he has greatly designed just for me. It's like uh, watching your parent move from a three-bedroom home and all the memories there to move into a smaller place. The memories aren't gone. It's just the space. It's okay. He still lives. He still dwells. You just got to make sure that is that all you got and you can start drinking lemonade. That's a bit of food for thought. So you won't be able to see this starting, uh, say, next week. But you'll get a chance to enjoy my chick corner. You take care. Have a great one.